Zadrizes bus darīs, kas tev. One of the plot lines or character arcs that I'm most excited for in House of the Dragon Season 2 is Daemon freaking Targaryen. The man is amazing. He's literally one of my favorite characters in all of the A Song of Ice and Fire adaptations. In this video, I want to focus on what he's going to be doing for Season 2. We do have some information, or we were shown him in the trailer, and I want to compare and contrast that with some information that I've been sent through the DMs over on Twitter regarding leaks for House of the Dragon Season 2. So please, before I jump in, into any of that content if you enjoy my videos here on youtube you're a fan of my stuff please the number one thing you could ever do if you want to help me out subscribe please subscribe to my channel and also if you're feeling so inclined you enjoyed this video slap a like on it like goal is going to be 420 <laughs> okay so the very first scene or one of the first scenes that we're likely going to see damon involved in in season two house of the dragon is going to be when rainier goes to shipbreaker bay right storms in she goes there we know it's confirmed in the trailer and then also when you compare it with these leaked images from the filming process of season two we know she's going to go check up on the remains of her son luceris and also potentially his dragon arex right so i think in season one episode 10 we all saw it on screen we saw luceris got chomped into bits at least his dragon did vagar's mouth is so large there's no way when she bit down on arax that she completely missed Lucerus. I mean, it's possible. Like, check this out. In canon, there's rumors, right? The singers, people who uh, make songs about famous historical events in A Song of Ice and Fire, not the Earth singers, not the Children of the Forest, but the regular old singers, they say that Lucerus actually survived his fall from Arax, and he ended up losing all memory of the events and who he is, and spent the rest of his days as a simple fisherman outside the walls of Storm's End. Probably not going to happen on the TV show. Rainier looks pretty distraught and heartbroken. And we've actually had a cast fisherman who's going to have this scene with Rainier and potentially Damon and show her the remains of her son. Now, we do actually know the Shipbreaker scene, Shipbreaker Bay scene is going to happen. We know Rainier and Cyrax are involved in it. We don't actually know if Damon is. Like, there were rumors that Damon goes with her, but when they were filming it, we didn't actually see Damon near the scene that uh emma darcy was filming they were kind of there by themselves and uh matt smith the actor who plays damon wasn't seen around and the cgi puppet in the background for when emma was filming pretty much looks like cyrax nothing like her axes so it's possible that if matt smith does go or sorry if damon does go with rainier to storms into shipwrecker bay and maybe his scenes were filmed indoor at the studio it leaves them and the two of them share a moment like in the uh, promo images they were, they released where they're embracing each other, maybe the two of them share that over Lucerus' remains, and then the war really picks up into a next level. Like, literally, in Fire and Blood, when you're reading uh, The Dying of the Dragons, the Red Dragon versus the Gold, the first line is, The Dance of the Dragons enters a new level <laughs> after the death of Lucerus. So it's going to get pretty crazy from this point forward. After this scene with Rainier, Damon hatches blood and cheese. I've been sent rumors that supposedly Damon sneaks into King's Landing, and when he gets there, he meets with blood at a tavern. Blood is with Masaria and Cheese, and the three of them discuss what needs to go down. Basically, they're going to sneak into the Red Keep and kill the King's heir, and that's supposed to happen in episode two. Then the next thing Damon does after blood and cheese, or while it's going down rather, is Damon's going to go and take Harrenhal. Now, in the books, when Damon takes Harrenhal, he takes his dragon Caraxes and lands it on top of the Kingspire Tower and takes Harrenhal with no blood being shed. He doesn't take any injuries. He doesn't kill any captives. He puts the garrison in chains because he knows that some of them can be used for royal hostages. The Castellan, Sir Simon Strong, the dude he's related to Lares, right? He doesn't kill him, he imprisons him. He knows that he can eventually be used as the hostage for some sort of situation. Damon at Harrenhal in season two will use it as a rallying point for Rhaenyra's forces. At the end of the season, he's gonna leave Harrenhal and it's gonna get taken by Aemond and Kristen Cole but before that, Damon uses Harrenhal to his advantage. Now, some of the leaks that we've been sent for when Damon takes Harrenhal is remember I told you in canon he doesn't take any injuries, but supposedly on the show, he takes a flaming arrow to the side and will need to be treated by someone at Harrenhal. Supposedly, the maester was killed in the interaction, or maybe he fled, it's not exactly sure, but we know for a fact that he's treated by Alice Rivers because 
the person who's playing Alice Rivers was, you know, a bunch of different actresses tried to uh, audition for the role. And one of those auditions actually got leaked online. And we have some dialogue from that scene. I'm not going to repeat it here because it's actually been flagged and taken down by HBO as soon as it was put up. Not as soon as, but within a few days. But just to sort of summarize, Alice is basically egging uh, Damon on, telling him that Rhaenyra is the true power and he's her consort and that he kind of uh, is like the queen's whipping boy and he has to do what she says and that's why he's here to take Harrenhal. And Damon kind of doesn't take kindly to her words, has her locked up supposedly and uh, sent away and this is why you don't hear about Alice when Damon's at Harrenhal in canon. Now not all of that was shared in the dialogue from the scene that was you know released online but you can kind of hint at the fact that Damon and Alice are not going to have the most stable relationship. Especially considering that Alice is Eamon's love interest for the entirety or for the rest of the series once, da once Eamon meets her. So it'll be interesting to see if the reason why she does that is out of like spite for Damon or something. Like I've, I've actually been sent leaks several months ago. I didn't really give them too much credibility. But supposedly there's a love scene between Damon and Alice. And Damon just sort of uses her to get out some frustration and anger in the war. We'll see. Now Damon spends quite a few episodes at Harrenhal and House of the Dragon season 2. I'm not exactly sure when he leaves. But one of my sources says that Damon returns to Dragonstone in episode 6 for the Dragon Seed scene. When he first arrives to Dragonstone, supposedly he spots a girl trying to steal a, like, <laughs> oh, let me, before I say this next part, let me, just remember, everybody watching this, everybody listening to this, take this, these leaked informations with a grain of salt, unless there's a confirmed scene to go along with them, either from the trailer or that was being filmed and was leaked, you take it with a grain of salt. This is meant to entertain us and get us prepared for House of the Dragon season two, nothing more. But anyway, Damon supposedly sees a girl trying to steal a leg of mutton uh, when he arrives to Dragonstone. He has her brought forth before him uh, while he's on his dragon Caraxes because he wants to try to sway anybody else who may try to steal and start riots on Dragonstone. And when he does this, when Nettles is brought before him, when he's mounted on Caraxes, she actually doesn't seem like she's afraid and she tries to pet Caraxes' nose. Damon then realizes that she must be of the blood, and when he arrives to Dragonstone and finds out what's going on with Rhaenyra's war council and how they're trying to come up with more dragon riders and dragon seeds, he puts forth Nettles, the girl that he saw trying to steal a leg of mutton, forth because he thinks she could be a potential dragon rider, an ally. As a side note, in canon, the whole culling of the dragon seeds, or the whole idea of the dragon seeds, is brought forth by Mushroom. So like at this point in time, Rhaenyra is kind of on the back burner. She's out of the picture. She's so distraught. She lost everything that other people are running a war council. In particular, Corlys and Rhaenys. After Rhaenys' death, Jace comes to the forefront because remember, he's Rhaenyra's heir and he's the next king, right? Next in line for the king. So he's... Uh, discussing plans on the War Council, and Mushroom's like, why don't you guys just get more riders? And Jacaris asks Mushroom, where would we get more dragon riders? And Mushroom proposes the idea of all of these dragon bastards, all these dragon seeds around Dragonstone, can potentially ride a dragon. They just need to go and attempt to do so. So Jacaris puts out the call that anybody who's able to claim a dragon can come and fight beside him in the war, and they'll be bestowed the powers and the titles and lands of a lord, and every person of their family is now brought up socially, status-wise. So it's a really big deal to be considered or, or to want to try to go and mount the dragon and join the war. In the books, two of those dragon riders, or one of them rather, Adam of Fall and Alan of Fall, tried to mount the dragon. Alan tries to go and mount Sheepstealer. Sheepstealer had, uh, during the sowing of the dragon seeds, the process where they're trying to claim new mounts, Sheepstealer is one of the ones who kills the most people who try to mount him. So Nettles is the one who gets Sheepstealer. She does it by feeding him pieces of mutton. But with Adam... And Sea Smoke, Laner's old dragon, Adam is actually followed around by Sea Smoke until Adam eventually mounts Sea Smoke. So it's kind of like, it's going to be really interesting to see how they adapt that for the television series, but we know for a fact it's going to be something similar. Because remember the scene from the trailer where Adam looks up and he sees Sea Smoke flying over him? It kind of seems like his reaction in those moments is like he's not expecting that. He's like, why is this dragon following me around? And if he does eventually mount Sea Smoke, and it's before Rhaenyra does the calling of the dragon seeds, maybe the scene where she sees him and meets with him 
with Cyrax, and she's like walking towards him on the beach. Maybe that's when she's like going to confront him about kind of stealing a dragon. Although he didn't really steal a dragon, because Sea Smoke followed him around. Maybe this is, is her realization moment, like I mentioned before in my trailer breakdown video, that Lanor's dead because his dragon's now being ridden by someone else. And if you think about it, that would actually suck. Not just because she maybe had some love for Lanor, but the whole point of what she did with Lanor was to give him a free life away from the war to be unaffected. And if she did that and he just went off and died anyway, maybe she feels even more guilty. But getting back on track here and wrapping this video up. Supposedly, and most, and I can I can almost guarantee you what's going to happen, this season, season 2, will end with Damon and Rainier taking King's Landing. Now, once Damon leaves Harrenhal, supposedly, Aemon and Kristen Cole are already on the march, march and almost at Harrenhal, so Aemon is unaware that Damon has left, much like what happens in the books. Damon doesn't exactly announce that he's leaving Harrenhal, so when Aemon gets there, it's a surprise that it's empty. And lastly, supposedly the last scene of House of the Dragon Season 2 is Rhaenyra sitting the Iron Throne right after Damon beheads Sir Otto in King's Landing, like they've taken the city. And we can actually see Damon beheading somebody in the trailer. Maybe it's Sir Otto. Let me know what you all think down below in the comment section. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please slap a like on it. Like cool is gonna be 420. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's the best thing you could ever do if you're a fan of my content here on YouTube. Big shout out to the North Must Remember, my girl Brian Johnson, Destiny 420, Mix Queen 420, Phillips, and Pebbles 83. They were all executive producers of this video and members of my Patreon over on patreon.com slash our Hunts Reviews. Where if you wanna go check that out, you can get a bunch of unedited, unfiltered content, the true Sir Hunts. But thank you for watching. I don't know. Not. So, three is supposed to